Hey, it's Colleen with Rope and Resellers, and here is my weekly update for September 18th through September 24th, 2017. Okay, so let's see what I sold this week. I sold a Jimboree dress that was my older daughter. She gave it to her younger sister who fully rejected it. I sold it for $12.50. Didn't cost me anything. $5.12 is what it cost me in eBay, PayPal, and shipping fees for a total profit of $7.38, and it took a month to sell. These are some vintage tights um, that I just picked up at uh, Goodwill for, um, and they sold for $9.99. Since they were vintage, Esprit does well. I'm from San Francisco, and it was a brand that I grew up with that I didn't even know was out of business until a couple years ago. Anyway, uh, I paid a dollar for it. $4.11 for shipping and fees for a total profit of $4.88, and it took nine months to sell. This is a pair of dance go clogs. They are open in the back. Most of the time you see them and they have um, they have the back on them, but these are just slip-on. They sold for $39.99. I paid $2 for them at a rummage garage sale. Eleven forty-two in shipping and fees for a total price. A total profit of twenty six fifty seven, and it took two months to sell. This is a compression shirt used in basketball and sports in general. I had no idea what it was when I picked it up, um, but it sold for fourteen ninety nine. I don't have to know what it is. I just know how to. Well, I sort of know how to what to know what it is. Anyway, um, uh, it sold for fourteen ninety nine. I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill. Five forty-two for shipping and fees for a total profit of eight dollars fifty-seven cents, and it only took a week to sell. There were several of these, and I wasn't sure if it was going to go, but it did. This is a Cossack hat, so like a Russian style hat. It was vintage. I found it at an estate sale. It sold for nineteen ninety-nine. I paid four dollars for it at said estate sale. Five forty-eight in shipping and fees for a total profit of ten dollars fifty-one cents, and it took. 13 months to sell. This is a pair of fresh produce capris. Uh, I got these in a bag from my consignment store that I'm taking their stuff to Goodwill for them. So I sold them for $16.99. Uh, everything that came out of that bag was about a buck. Six oh eight for shipping and fees for a total profit of $9.00. 91 cents and they took two months to sell so here is I guess I didn't take a picture of the tag usually I do um, for some reason I don't this time so that's all I had so that's as, as good a picture of the tag as I can give you but they do all right they don't sell for a lot of money but they sell consistently for me Franco Sarto flats these were genuine hide um, cow hide so they still had fur on this is uh, a, a medium to high-end brand. I sold them for $19.99. This also came out of the same bag that from the consignment store, so I paid a dollar for them. $7.08 in shipping and fees for a total profit of $11.98, and they took two weeks to sell. They were in very nice condition. Somebody emailed me and asked me to sell these for $13. So I took the offer because they've been up for a little while. These are 925 silver earrings, teardrop stud. These were hard to describe for me because I'm not a super great jewelry seller. I'm still in the baby stages of that. So anyway, this came out of Texas Gal Treasures jar, jewelry jar that I had won. Subscriber, you can look back in the old video. Um, so this came out of that four forty eight for shipping and fees for a total profit of eight dollars fifty two cents and they took six months to sell. This is a one ying rainbow dripping paint shirt. I didn't know anything about this. I'd never heard of this label. It says extra large, but I don't think it's like an extra large American. It must be for the Chinese market because. It was still pretty slender. Um, I sold it for $19.99. I paid a dollar for it at Goodwill. I was attracted to the colors. 
because ugly sells. I mean, it's not ugly. It's actually really pretty. It's bold. And I think bold sells as well. I don't want to insult anyone, but it is kind of a cool shirt. Anyway, five forty-eight for shipping and fees for a total profit of $13.51. And it took a week to sell. And there were others up there by that same label. And not very many of them had sold. So who knows the forces behind eBay? This is a vintage Charlie Brown uh, book about Charles Schultz, and it had some comics in it, but it's not a comic book. So it's, and it wasn't signed by, it, I think it just had somebody's name, like they had loaned it out, not somebody famous or associated with the publishing of this book. Anyway, it sold for $19.99. I paid 25 cents for it at a garage sale. Five eighty three for shipping and fees. So you can ship this media mail. It takes a little bit longer, but I think eBay does a good job of explaining that. But it is quite a bit cheaper because books are heavy. So five eighty three in shipping and fees for a total profit of thirteen ninety one, and it took eighteen months to sell. This is a pair of Cole Haan shoes. Uh, I picked these up at a rummage sale at a fill a bag sale. They sold for $49.99. They, um, almost everything went free shipping. So that's why I haven't said anything about shipping until now. So they paid for the shipping. So money collected $59.49. I paid a dollar for them. I figured cause I filled the bag. $17.05 for shipping and fees. And it went smart post because that's a little cheaper. It's also a little slower, but a little cheaper. And, uh, so my profit Total profit on that was forty-one forty-four, and it took two weeks, two weeks to sell. And these were a pretty large size. These were size twelve. This is a simplicity costume for dogs. How cute are they? And uh, they it sold for seven eighty-three. It was uncut. I paid 69 cents for it at Goodwill, $4, two cents for shipping and fees for a total profit of $3, 12 cents. And it took a year to sell. This I pulled out of my daughter's closet a while ago and my younger daughter decided she didn't want it because I think it probably would have fit her. Oh, look, I didn't have the size in the title. That was pretty stupid. Um, no wonder it took so long to sell. <laughs> $29.99. Uh, is what they, what they gave me. And the total collected was 43.29 because they paid shipping. It went to Canada. Like I said, it came out of my daughter's closet, so it didn't cost me anything. I probably picked it up at a garage sale in the first place. 20.08 for shipping and fees for a total profit of 23.21. And it took 19 months to sell. And I thought this was an amazing jacket and I can't believe that it didn't sell quicker. So anyway, Roxy girl, I don't get a ton of money for Roxy. Uh, I know it's expensive right out of the gate, but I don't think it's uh, a really super desirable brand as far as resale. Martha Stewart baby blanket. This was difficult to show uh, how the size of it. Um, but I sold it, $19.99. This also came out of the consignment store Goodwill bag, so it cost me a dollar. Eight forty-six. No, you know what? This came out of the dollar fill a dollar bag out of the rummage sale, so that it still cost only a dollar. Eight dollars forty-six cents for shipping and fees for a total profit of ten dollars fifty-three cents, and it took three weeks to sell. Okay, so looking at the numbers. 265.23 because I had a return. I had a, a Sundance shirt that I sold and it didn't fit her. So she returned it. She paid for shipping, but I had free shipping initially. So I actually had to include that over here, which is always sort of a bummer. So my total loss on that was 34.89, but it's already relisted. So I'm not worried. If it cost me five bucks, it's cost of doing business. It's just a write off. 265.23. Uh, is what I sold everything for. 318.02 is what eBay shows me on my seller hub and what I tell my husband I made this week. 13.94 is what all the items cost. So that's not too bad. And 105.14 for shipping and fees for a total profit 
of 159.15. Wah, wah. So not super great, but I've had a really great couple of weeks and I was gone um, basically like mid-Wednesday through Saturday, late Saturday night. I had a conference I went to. I was a chaperone for some local high school kids. So anyway, I was not listing. I was not engaged. I was asked to not be on my computer, although I snuck on a couple times to answer questions and see what was going on. Um, so really it was almost like I was, I just changed my handling time cause I couldn't get to my stuff cause I was gone. So that's not too bad for basically taking four days off. So 159.15. I did sell 20 shirts though, cause that's the thing that is behind the scenes for me now. And luckily it came through. Uh, so I sold 20 of those and I made 112.45 in royalties on t-shirts. And so my total for the week is 271.64. So I did make it over 200. I just didn't do it on eBay. Okay. So not super great, but, um, I did have a great last couple weeks. And if you take the average for the whole month, then it's still looking really good. And like I said, I was gone for basically three or four days and I was pretty unavailable and I haven't done any listings. So for the proof, I can't wait to get listing again. I haven't done anything. I was trying to sort of recover from my conference on Sunday and just tidy up a bit around my house and be a mom and be present because I went with my son, but I, I really did miss my other two daughters and I really wanted to spend time with them. And that's what this is all about, right? Is to have flexibility and we can't work seven days a week. That's just ridiculous. <laughs> so anyway, um, pretty good week. Uh, okay. Not that great a week, but I'm not complaining because you have to look at the long over the average and I've had a phenomenal month. So I just, uh, I had a question in the comments and this is my tip for the week. And I was just going to show you really quickly. My first tip is if you don't have an eBay store and you are selling, I think it's more, if you have more than 50 things in your store, please don't quote me on this. Uh, you should have a store. And you should have a store anyway because of the tools that eBay provides for you. And they give you $25 at the lowest level to get free shipping supplies. So really, it kind of pays for itself, I think. And I think it helps you keep organized and take this as a serious business and make yourself more accountable. So anyway, if you do have a store, you have access to the Seller Hub. And I'm just going to show you at the end of this video uh, quickly how I start to piece together some of the numbers that I use for my Excel spreadsheet, which I've done by hand. It's nothing um, that is organized. It's just what I use. There are programs out there that'll pull the data off of eBay and put it into a spreadsheet for you, but I'm cheap and I know how to use Excel. So I just made it myself, but I wanted to show you where I get my selling costs from and we'll take it from there. And maybe uh, I can show you a little bit more next week. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you uh, like it, give it a thumbs up. If you want to make a comment or ask me a question, I'd be more than happy to help you and tell your friends. We'll see you next week. Thanks. So this is my seller's hub. Um, you can move any of these little boxes around wherever you want them to go, but this is just what I have. So I can get a quick glance at how I'm doing over the last 31, 90 days, things I need to do. This will tell me if I have anything to ship, which I don't right now. Um, how much, yeah, my sales are. So when I say this is what the seller hub shows me, we now all know after watching me a couple weeks that that's not really how much you're making. So you got to keep track of that stuff. So to find that out, you can actually go up here to performance and everybody has this across the top um, if you have seller hub and you have a store. So performance and you're going to click on that and you're going to just go down to selling costs. Um, well, this showed me performance. So it just sort of showed me what I've sold over the last couple days. You can tell I have not sold anything. I have not listed anything. I have not sold anything. So that's another reason why I'm having a really bad week. So anyway, um, if I go to this, you can either do it from the pull down here or you can do it from the side once you're in there and it'll show you your net selling costs and what percentage of your total sales. Now, I don't even look at this because honestly, I don't think that's a very fair representation of 28% of my total sales. I don't think it's that much at all. But what it does do is, so 
um, let's take that Charlie Brown book that I sold this week. It'll tell me my listing fees. Now, if you have a store, you don't pay listing fees. That's included in your store subscription, and I believe it's $60 a month right now. But that being said, I do get um, shipping supplies. I get $50 worth of shipping supplies every quarter. I get $30 credit every quarter for promoted listings. So there are some benefits. Plus, honestly, I think the information that they give you is totally worth it. So they'll tell me my selling fees. They'll tell me how much I paid for shipping labels if I ship through eBay. So I'm probably going to be able to go down here a little ways. No, that was something that was not a sale. So these Doc Martin boots that I sold, I sold them through FedEx. They won't give me that number until next month. Now I can go in to um, find out what that FedEx shipping was either through PayPal or through uh, if you look at, um, if you go into the listing, it'll tell you how much you paid, but you have to go specifically in and you can look through the back door. But anyway, so, um, I don't break it down. I combine the two. I do seller fees, ship and, um, selling fees, uh, and shipping labels. This luckily, if you look at it is eBay and PayPal. Now, it, as long as PayPal and eBay are playing nicely, it works. But if that ever stops, then you're going to have to go into PayPal and look and see how much they charge too. So anyway, I just take this net cost. I don't break it down. I don't have to for taxes. I don't really care that much. Um, I do if there's a return, but I get so few returns that honestly, it's just as easy to go into here and see how much I paid for something. So anyway, that's, um, that's how I get those numbers for uh, my weekly costs.